Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is measurement, introduction, importance and choice of units. Students, knowingly or unknowingly, we have been using measurement for a very very long time. For example, the person over here, a tailor is measuring the length of the sleeves with the help of a scale. The doctor measures the temperature with the help of thermometer and the shopkeeper will measure the weight of the vegetables with the help of a beam balance. Students, what are all these people doing? Simply we can say that they are comparing, but they are comparing with what? They are comparing with a known standard which is universally accepted and thus students, this was the need for measurement because it should be accepted universally and thus measurement is a process of comparison. For the measurement, we need a universally accepted unit and then we find how many times the unit is contained in the given quantity. For example, if we consider this length of the brick, suppose it is 20 centimeter. Now students over here, this can be said as 20 centimeter or 20 times 1 centimeter. So, this 20 times of the unit centimeter is nothing but the measurement. And here, this 20 is the magnitude of measurement. That means, this measurement needs two things. First, it needs the unit and second, it needs the number n. This number n students is known as the magnitude. And unit, as we know, can be any unit for length, mass and time. For example, for length it is centimeters, for mass it is kg, for time it is seconds. Let's understand this and thus a measurement can be written as the number into the unit. Suppose if I ask you, in 10 kg, what is the magnitude? 10 is the magnitude and what is the unit? It is 1 kg, not only kg, it is 1 kg. Suppose I ask you one more question. The time is 2 hours. What is the magnitude in this? 2. And what is the unit? 1 hour. Good. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.